Let's find an area for the regular icosagon and use that to prove an interesting inequality relating the golden ratio in pi. The circle constant pi is approximately 3.14159. The golden ratio phi is approximately 1.61803. Here's an interesting question about these two famous constants. Is pi times the golden ratio greater than or less than 5? Sure, we can check this in a calculator, but can we figure the answer out analytically? Let's give it a try. Draw an isosceles triangle with two equal base angles of 72 degrees so that the apex angle is 36 degrees. Suppose the base has length 1 and the other two sides have length x. This triangle sits nicely inside the regular pentagon as shown here. Now cut one of the 72 degree angles in half so that we create two 36 degree angles. This cut created this lower shaded triangle which is also a 72 degree, 72 degree, 36 degree triangle. Because it's isosceles, this side length is 1, and now this other shaded triangle has two base angles of measure 36 degrees, making it also an isosceles triangle, so that this side length up here is 1. Putting these two results together, we see that the base angle on the blue shaded triangle is x minus 1. Because the original triangle and the blue shaded triangle have the same three angle measurements, they are similar triangles. That means the ratios of corresponding sides are equal so that we conclude that x divided by 1 must be equal to 1 divided by x minus 1. And from this equality, we can clear denominators to conclude that x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation, we have one positive root, which is x equals 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. It turns out that 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 is the golden ratio phi. That means that this triangle has a side length given by the golden ratio. In fact, this triangle is known as a golden triangle because of this property. Now slice the 36 degree angle in half, creating a triangle shown here with an 18 degree angle, a base length of 1 half, and a hypotenuse of length the golden ratio. From this right triangle, we conclude that the sine of 18 degrees is equal to 1 divided by 2 times the golden ratio. To use this fact, start with a circle of radius 1. Inside of the circle, inscribe a 20 sided regular polygon. This 20-sided regular polygon is known as an icosagon. We can decompose the icosagon into 20 congruent triangles like this. Because we've divided the 360-degree measurement of the circle into 20 equal angles, each of these triangles has an 18-degree angle. The sides of the triangles are radii of the unit circle, so they each have a length of 1. From the side angle side area formula for a triangle, we conclude that this triangle has an area of 1 half times 1 times 1 times the sine of 18 degrees. Using the fact that the sine of 18 degrees is 1 over 2 times the golden ratio, we conclude that the area of one of these triangles is 1 over 4 times the golden ratio. By construction, the icosagon is built of 20 of these triangles, each with an area of 1 over 4 times the golden ratio. From this we can conclude that the area of the icosagon is 20 times the area of the triangle. Thus the area of the icosagon is 20 times 1 over 4 times the golden ratio, which is equal to 5 over the golden ratio. But we can say more from this. The icosagon sits entirely inside the unit circle, and the unit circle has an area of pi times 1 squared, or pi. That means that 5 divided by the golden ratio is less than pi, so that 5 is less than pi times the golden ratio. So the original golden triangle, or more precisely half of the golden triangle, has helped us prove that the area of the regular icosagon sitting inside the unit circle is 5 over the golden ratio. From this computation and the fact that the icosagon sits inside the unit circle, we deduced that 5 is less than pi times the golden ratio. We have analytically proved that pi times the golden ratio is greater than 5. This proof is due to Roger B. Nelson. Check the description for links. If you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe, and share with your friends.